All right, so you have a Facebook page, but now what do you do? What are your next steps? Here's a couple things you should be doing right away to start marketing your page. First of all, make sure the About section that you have is correct. If you do need any updates, please feel free to submit to the inquiry form and we will update that for you. Make sure the cover photo is correct with the right information. And then get started getting familiar with your page. So notice here that there's a photo section where you can start uploading photos, making photo albums. Maybe you have a new listing you'd like to put up some pictures. You can name the album the name of the listing. Right here it'll show you your page likes. So to get more page likes, here's what you can do. Copy. So I'm highlighting everything. Select it all. And then you can right click and see how there's a copy option. Hit copy. And then go to your Facebook profile. See that F right there? That's the F. This will take you back to your page. To paste your status onto your actual profile so your friends can see it, you click here. I'm going to right click on my mouse and hit paste. And write a note. And then hit post. Just like that. So that's one way you can get some new likes to your page. Or you might belong to some groups. So here's a secret group, for example. If there was a different group that we were a part of, maybe you're part of a local group for maybe the town of Wayne, for example. Find that group and do the exact same thing. Right click, paste, and say something great about your page and hit post. Maybe that way if there's someone in town looking to buy a new home, they can see your post and might think to talk to you or ask you some questions. Same thing, just hit post. So those are some ways you can get liked. To start writing content, you can also use the content calendar we made for you. I'm going to click over here to the Google Drive. That's drive.google.com. You can see right here that there's a content library. Click on that. And here it is. It says Annual Content Library. Let's see what content might be there that you can post to Facebook. At the bottom, it says November. Here's a great post. So I wanted to open it bigger. That's why I double clicked on it. Highlight what you want, copy, right click, hit paste. Oh, now that's pretty cool. So maybe Pompton Links isn't where I am, maybe it's Wayne. That's an easy fix. And now I want to see if maybe there's a cool photo I could associate with that. I clicked on photo video, hit upload. Right here I'm going to the Google Drive for PC. That's something you could download for free that's in our other video. Content library. And maybe a cool quote image would work. Let's see. Home is where you hang your heart. That's really nice. So now that picture's loading. Done. Maybe I want it to post today, so I hit publish. Maybe instead, I actually want it to post tomorrow, so I hit schedule. Click tomorrow. Whatever time I want. You just fill it in and hit schedule. Pretty cool. You can also check out the video section right here. You may have some older videos that you've taken of previous listings, or perhaps you have a video testimonial from a client. It's as simple as adding a video. You can also see that you have a button. So you can change this right here by hovering or clicking on it and then hit edit. You can see that this is going straight to the website. But you can also choose a different one. So you might want to make an, have them make an appointment, have them call, contact, send a message, sign up for something, learn more. There's so many options. You can choose just about any one of them and have someone get in contact with you. So it's how you might want to change the button, but that's an option. Another way to get more page likes is right here. There's that more button. You can invite friends. And this will actually bring up your entire friends list. Obviously right now there's not a lot of friends on this account. If you had friends, you would be able to just click their names right here. If you don't have friends, get away from your Facebook page, go back to your profile, and start typing people you might actually know. Pick a name of someone, of just Samir's personal profile. Maybe I want to add him as a friend. So you just click add friend. That's how you can add friends so that you can then go back and invite them to like your Facebook page. Under the services tab, you can also play around here by adding a service. Maybe you put free consultation. Write a description about your service. So if you if you help homeowners sell homes, you 
Jersey as an example, you can list that. And then maybe list a photo of a local house or a quote image that you think might be relevant or the word free, maybe a, you know, an image of the word free since it's a free consultation, hit save. So now you can offer a service like free consultation. You'll also notice that along the top of the page you have some more options here. So right now this is automatically selected, you're looking at your page. You can also look messages to see if anyone has sent you a message or if you need to respond to something. Right here. But you would see messages pop up here. The next one is notifications. It lets you know if someone has liked, shared, or commented on something, if Facebook has approved or not approved something. You can see all of that information here. Under Insights, which right now may not have too much information, it'll show you how your page posts have been doing. You can see, for example, under Likes, you can see how many page likes you have. Net likes, new likes, etc. You can see how many people viewed your information how many people were reached when you posted something. So as you start to post in about 30 days time, you'll be able to see your insights and learn maybe what the best time to post is, how often you should be posting. So feel free to play around under the insights area. You also have tools. We did touch on this before, but you can create a post in here. And instead of publishing, you can schedule it. Another fun fact is you can backdate. Let's say you forgot to post for Mother's Day this year. Let's just pretend it was this day. You can now write something, hit back, and it will show up on your wall on the day you backdated it. So you'll never again have to worry about accidentally forgetting a major holiday or somebody's birthday. You can feel free to check on any one of these to see what publishing tools have to offer you. We'll do a more in-depth video later. Is settings. This is where you'll see all the, the general settings about your page. Most of these are already taken care of for you. You can always feel free to investigate any part of your page. Changing photos like your headshot is really simple. Click upload or choose if you have another one already uploaded. You can also change your cover photo if you have one that you've made that's been approved. Upload it right here. You can reposition if something seems a little bit off. In general though, Facebook's made it pretty easy. They have a lot of little shortcuts here, so there's cuts, video shortcuts, you can edit your page information right here from a little button, makes it super convenient for you. So feel free to investigate and start clicking through, and of course as you have questions, we'll start making you more customized videos, but you can expect that for each part of the Facebook page, especially ads, you're going to get a lot of tutorials.